How the Unwashed Dragon by Mark Archambault, illustrated by Lorna Foote, publication of Gone Indie Kids Books, read to you by the author. How the Unwashed Dragon. How the dragon woke up, stretched his arms in the air and wiggled his wings. It was a beautiful morning. Hal walked out of his house into his garden. He walked over to his beautiful rose bush and took a deep breath. Ah, that smells good, Hal breathed out. Hey, what just happened? The roses had wilted. Confused, Hal wandered into the woods that surrounded his home. He saw a little squirrel gathering nuts and bent down to say hi to the furry little creature. The squirrel looked at Hal. Her eyes widened and watered. Her nose twitched. She dropped her nuts and ran away as fast as she could. Hey, come back, cried Hal. What's wrong? Why are you running away from me? Now Hal was not just confused. He was a little sad. He kept walking through the woods, hoping his day would start getting better. He heard a robin flying by and called out to it. Putting out his hand, the robin landed lightly and began chirping. As soon as Hal brought the bird closer to his face, the robin's chirp turned into a squeak and his red breast turned green. The bird flew away so fast it bumped into a tree. Now Hal was feeling hurt as well as sad and confused. He walked to his favorite stream and sat down. He dangled his feet in the water. He didn't notice the water around his feet turned dark and the fish swim away. He was too busy looking around for something to cheer him up. There's a beautiful butterfly slowly flapping its wings on a nearby blade of tall grass. Hal bent to get a closer look. You're so beautiful, Hal whispered to the butterfly. The butterfly's wings shriveled up as it fell to the ground and crawled to hide under a leaf. Oh no, Hal bawled. What's wrong with me? Hey Hal, what up? Came a friendly but stuffed up sounding voice. It was Bobcat holding a tissue. He blew his nose loudly. <laughs> I've got a cold. I think there's something wrong with me, sniffed Hal. A big tear dripped down his cheek, turning brown as it went, leaving a trail. Every creature I go near looks sick and runs away, except you. Maybe because you're already sick. Hal opened his mouth wide and let out a big sigh. You said Bobcat. I think I know what the problem is. Ah, 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 choo! Bobcat sneezed into his tissue, then looked at it. That's almost as gross as your mouth, he said. Hey, I can smell again. But I wish I couldn't. Why? What is it? asked Hal. You stink. I what? You stink. Bad. Real bad. Your teeth are yellow and they've got fuzzy stuff growing on them. And there's big chunks of food in between too. There is? Hal bent over the stream and opened his mouth to look at his reflection. A turtle floating at the surface pulled its head into its shell and swam away blindly, bumping rocks as it went. Hal frowned at the turtle. Then he stuck out his tongue and examined his reflection. Hey, my tongue looks like it has fur on it. Gray, slimy fur. That is so, so gross, said Bobcat, shaking his head. I'd better do something about this, Hal shouted, throwing his arms up in the air. Bobcat fell over backwards and held his nose. Promise you won't do that again! Hal raised his eyebrows in confusion. I think your underarms have some mold or fungus growing on them. Bobcat was standing far away from Hal now. The dragon lifted an arm and gave a sniff. Woof! You're right! I am a bit smelly, aren't I? Yeah, just a bit, said Bobcat sarcastically. You better get home and take care of that. Later, Hal stood in front of the mirror in his bathroom. His scales were freshly washed from the shower and were even a bit shiny. Hal looked at his teeth. You'd better floss first, said Bobcat from the window. 
Oh, and don't forget to brush your tongue, not just your teeth. Some mouthwash would be a good idea, too. Okay, said Hal, unwinding a long piece of dental floss. After that, Hal the dragon always remembered to take showers or baths and brush and floss his teeth. Bobcat told him that was called personal hygiene. Hal didn't really care what it was called. He was just happy that no one ran away from him anymore.